What's up guys? I'm back. Uh, I've been gone for about five days. Went on a little vacation with my wife. I had some R&R. Uh, &R. Uh, I'll show you guys a video of that, some clips of what we did. And um, uh, for some of you guys that follow me on Instagram already, you guys have seen it. So uh, it's it's really refreshing. And I'm, I'm back now, back to the grind. I uh, wanted to just show you guys a couple of updates this, this, uh, this past week that has happened. And uh, all right, stay tuned and let's get this video started. Okay, so first uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys a few uh, babies that have shed. Um, so this one is the bamboo to a Mojave Hypo clutch. So all these babies are 100% het for Hypo. These two are het Hypos and they're both males. So these guys will be available um, once they've had a couple of meals. Nothing spectacular, normal males, head for hypo. This one does have a reduced uh, tail pattern. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, put these guys away. And then I did hit on two bamboos. This one is the female bamboo. Uh, this is, uh, she's got the reduced pattern. So this is the female bamboo 100% head for hypo. So she is gorgeous, a reduced pattern on the tail end. You can see the bamboo gene is really dominant uh, gene and mixed with a lot of things. You can't really miss the bamboo gene unless it's white. So I'll show you guys that. But this one is the male bamboo 100% head for hypo. Uh, he's got a little bit of a reduced pattern on the tail end too, not as busy, but definitely not as reduced as the female. So, there you go guys. Can't get the, the color on it right, but it's a little lighter. And then the last two are also males. I didn't hit on a female, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's okay. They're all healthy. Let me go ahead and put a lid on these, these guys. Before they start running away so this one right here is an, a male bamboo Mojave 100% head hypo I'm not sure if you're picking it up on the camera but they do have a little bit of pattern uh, you can see there in the middle you can see the white and the pink that's the pattern uh, not as a more apparent as, a, as a, an invisible is but it's there if I put it on a black light It'll probably show a little bit more. It's all wet here. Uh, but nonetheless, they do have a little bit of pattern. Uh, and there's the last one, the last male. These guys are good sized males or babies. And this one you can see too, there's a little bit of pattern there. You can see the bamboo pattern. So it would be, be amazing if I put this uh, on black light and what exactly what they look like. But um, you can see on the head, there's a little bit of a pink, pink hue right there. That's that's the bamboo coming out, and then a little couple dots right there that this other one doesn't have. So this one's got a pretty plain head. It does have a little bit of pink on the neck, but they're both gorgeous, and they are going to be available. Um, once they have majority of these uh, these babies right here in this clutch are going to be uh, available except for one I, I may end up keeping a male just don't know exactly if I want a male that's all white or a male that is that's got patterns so we'll see uh, which one I'm going to be keeping so uh, once they color up a little bit more um, once they have a couple of meals I'll figure it out so all right and I'll show you guys a couple of uh, ha uh, clutches that hatched let me go put these guys this away. one is a uh, the sapphire gene to the spot nose gene uh, female that I have some of them are, are actually already shedding um, not quite sure what I have here you know not quite what I was expecting but you know there's some there's a few spot nose in here uh, combos actually I think quite a bit of spot nose uh, this one Definitely a spot nose. 
uh, either it has the, I'm not sure if it has the, the sapphire or not, you know, I'm not quite sure, let me just, uh, get this up and focus in here so we have all, a little bit more room to look at, but, you know, this is definitely a, a spot nose, spot nose head, um, so just to kind of count, there's one, Two, and this one right here. I think this might be a spot no sapphire. Um, look at that head pattern. If I can get this camera to focus. There you go. It's a little bit of a light. Let me uh, let me adjust this one. Okay, so this one definitely a busier pattern definitely a spot nose you can see the spot spots on the nose the, the head patterns there but it's a little different than a normal spot nose um, here's another spot nose here and look at that head pattern so there's that there's this spot nose, ridiculous head pattern. Um, that's normal. Here is another spot nose. So, just from the head pattern and the spots on the nose, and this one's a little bit more, I mean, it's a different. So I'm gonna have to sort these guys out Here's another spot nose combo. I mean, this was a pretty big clutch, I believe 10 eggs. Here's another spot nose combo. Spot nose, uh, so I'm not sure if these are all single gene or just, uh, or which one has a sapphire. I will have to kind of uh, study them, compare each. Um, this one is in a spot nose could be a low expression but um, the head stamps not there uh, this is not the typical sapphire look so I'm think I believe this is just a normal um, so I believe there is now this one is already in shed it's got a couple dots on its head um, no spots on the nose but I would just call this one a normal probably so and then there's another one here that has a pretty wicked head stamp. But can't see it there. Um, so that's, there's a lot of babies in here. One, two, three, four normals, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, 10. So there's 10 babies in here, a lot of spot nose combo, but there's some that are just screaming at me. I mean, look at that head stamp. That's crazy. So not quite sure what they, these guys are all, all are. This is the first time I'm breeding Sapphire to the spot nose. This one really, this one sticks out to me as far as pattern is concerned. Um, but still not quite sure what they all are so once they shed they color up I will go ahead and do another video and um, do a little bit more comparison and we'll show you guys uh, exactly what we have here as, as we determine it so um, as I, I keep um, um, pairing these the sapphire gene I'll I'll get more understanding of what it does and what it doesn't do how to spot them as far as uh, some other combos so all right, guys, let me go ahead and I'll put these guys away and I will go ahead and show you guys the last clutch that hatched. So this one is a Mojave. Uh, actually, my Crystal Enchi. Crystal is a Mojave Special Enchi. 
and paired to a uh, Mojave. So this is uh, a hit on a couple of uh, Super Mojaves and all of them are females and then the rest are um, uh, the two the two special enchies are males so I'm gonna show you guys first uh, all right let me go ahead and show you guys the single gene so this is a single gene Mojave and a single gene Mojave right here so these are both females and these guys will be available as soon as they shed and have had a few meals and well established um, but the typical ones my my uh, crystal produces some some pretty spectacular babies here and then this one I believe is a Mojave Enchi so the reduced pattern um, I believe this is a Mojave Enchi it's throwing me off he's produced this kind of baby before I'm not sure if this is pastel so if it is pastel then that means that that male has pastel in him um, I'm thinking this is Enchi so if you guys um, know exactly what this guy is let me know actually girl this is a female so and uh, he uh, she will be available as well the two males that I produced are these two right here and these two are both special entries well yeah I, th I believe they're both special entries this one definitely, I've produced them before. This one is definitely special Enchi. Um, and uh, this one as well. They look very different. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to figure this out. Now, I, I mean, I'm, I'm seeing them, I just cleaned them up and I'm just really looking at them and comparing them right now and I believe I'm almost 100% sure these guys are both uh, Enchi special Enchis and it can't be pastel special so they're not yellow enough to be pastel special so these guys are both Enchi specials and they're both males I was hoping to have a female to grow up and hold back but they're both males, so they will be. They will both be available. Uh, definitely, this one. I'm 100% sure this is Enchi special. Um, now that I'm looking at this one, I could be. This could just be a special. So if I'm not certain, I'll just sell these guys as specials. Um, but I'll um, I'll wait until they they shed. Now these two are females. Super Mojave, possible Enchi. So once they shed, their heads are gonna color up some more. You can kind of see really, they're not really white. They're a little bit purple on the head. Um, they have a purple hue, not super white. So uh, these guys are Super Mojave's possible Enchi's and they're both females. So they will also be available um, as soon as they shed and had a, a couple of meals so um but yeah that's the last clutch that hatched there um there should be one pipping today um or the next couple of days and that's the bamboo to black pastel um i was expecting it to actually have pipped already but so far no uh they haven't so i'll go ahead and check on that and make a video